Right, welcome back again, everybody. <clears throat> All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that I finished off my Excel analysis um, based on my questions. Okay, so guys, um, I'm just going to briefly go through it with you that you can adjust yours. Okay, so in the previous video, I spoke to you briefly about your raw data, and we started with a layout quickly on question one. All right, so we made sense of this now, guys. We've used formulas, okay, and we've used different formulas, okay, and I'll show you further on with different levels. So, for example, this is a level three formula that's in here. See that based on your pet. So, please go back and look on that page 22 um, of your pet um, for those levels again. All right, so if I looked at my question, my question was relating to delivery services um, within rural areas that I wanted to focus on. So guys, I quickly made um, assumptions by looking at the data here that career guy is obviously the most important or the biggest one that people rely on, um, with, where it's got to do with more um, on goods like uh, fashion, be it clothing, things like that. And then um, between Mr. D, Pick and Pay and Checkers, they seem to be lining up on about the same levels. Okay. Um, also, what is nice is, um, guys, that I could see um, that the service itself um, does become quite expensive. Okay. So let's have a look here at question two. Look what I did here. Um, I then wanted to focus on food to see if we can deliver food rurally. Um, would a low income person be able to afford this? And if I look at this, if you just look at a Sasa grant, a Sasa grant is 350 rand a month. And you can see that the average, the average year is between 252 rand um, that you spend on a meal. And that's that whole person's Sasa grant is gone. So my, my, uh, my mind or my analysis would tell me that based on an average spend, um, it's too expensive. Um, delivery costs are expensive with food items. Um, low income groups cannot afford um, this kind of service. Um, they also, in the app, tempt you to add more which means you're spending more. They make more money. But if I was a low-income um, household, um, it's not effective for me. Okay, so quite interesting when you start an analyzing your data now, guys. Can you see this? Um, I'm posing the question. I've done the research. I have then sent out my survey form. I've collected the information, and I'm putting this together. Right, my question three, I brought in a pie chart now, and I said, all right, how many of you guys have either received the wrong order? Meaning, either it's cold if it's food, or it was incorrect when it comes to ordering things online, like clothes or electrical equipment, like Timu, for example, or Sheen. Okay, and very interesting that 60% of the people in my survey said they got the order wrong. So now that poses a whole new set of questions again, um, which leaves us with unsatisfied customer service, okay, which means they're not going to use the delivery service again, um, or the company. So it does the delivery service as well as the company injustice. Okay, It's a loss of revenue for the company when things are not correctly ordered, all right, or, or, or you've got high customer returns. Okay, um, depending if it's food or goods, food generally, when people order, um, it, it seems to be correct. Um, might be cold, I think, um, um, it's uh, uh, generally that I would say food um, is generally correct. Okay, um, and then a lot of the time, some food is not delivered on time, um, or you receive it and it's cold. So, quite interesting, yeah, as I'm building up towards my final analysis. Now guys, I want you to look at my last sheet here which says final analysis and you can see what I've done here. Is I brought all these questions. Remember you had 10 questions in total for the pet. I'm using five for data. Remember very, very important that, okay? Five data questions which we can use in Excel and the other five I'm gonna be using in 
the database. All right, so they want a clear distinction between five that is for your Excel and five that is for your database. So please watch out for that. Okay, but you can see what I've done. I've analyzed this to a final thing. I've brought through my graph. That graph is the same as this graph here. And I've taken one important fact here. From this analysis, I could see that career guy is um, the proof career source. My second one, I looked at it again and I said, all right, question two, low income groups cannot afford the service. Okay, yes, and you can see that just on food um, deliveries, for example, okay? All right, and you can see the minimum order here is about 120 rand, okay? Right, so um, quite interesting. Um, and then, apart from it being expensive, sometimes you also receive the wrong one. Now, guys, you can see I stopped here at one, two, three. I've done three. You need to do all five in your final analysis. Give it a little short write-up um, that tells the moderator exactly that you understand how you're building up to answer your focus question. All right. So you can see I've made it look pretty, guys. That's what it's about. It's not a... It's not a Christmas tree. I don't want you to go crazy with it. All right. But all your questions should be answered um, for analysis um, within Excel over there. Are you happy with that grade 11s? Um, it's interesting, eh? Yes, today it makes it um, quite fun to analyze these things out. Love the stats. Okay. And then a, rem a reminder, please, guys, to use... You need to use, like, for example, guys, last one. You can you can see here I used Countif. Um, let me just go turn on formulas quickly again. Um, right, they're on. Can you see here? This is a level three formula. If I've got a question two. Okay, let me turn on the formulas again quickly. You can see here are some level ones and some level twos. Can you see that? So as it builds up, guys, it's important that you remember that you need to build a right up to a level four question for you to get all those marks. Okay. All right. Send me a question if you've got, guys, in the description um, or in the comments below. And please remember to like and subscribe. It helps me a little bit, man. Yes, you guys are awesome. If I look how the channel has grown. Um, so Solani Gashle, guys, um, you are awesome. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions and I'll see where I can help you. That's Mr. B out. Enjoy, guys.